Hi everyone, Karen V. Sweta. Happy New Year. I'm super excited to bring you a mobility and sculpt dumbbell workout. So we're going to begin with a little warm-up. You need a light, medium, and heavy set of dumbbells. Come into a little squat position in parallel, reaching the arms out, and then rising up to the top. So I want you to think of that tall and strong posture, sitting back into that seat, and then when we return up to that top, squeezing and connecting with the glutes. Four more, three, how are we feeling today? Two, last one, switching those arms, reaching and squeezing to that top. Lower down and rise. Four more here, four, nice full body here. Three, two, and one. Separate those legs a little bit wider. We're gonna pop that hip out to the right, drop down. Lift it up and switch to the other side. Little side lateral lunge. You're sitting down into a chair, squeezing that seat to come right back up. Four more here. Four, three, stay with me, you got two. Last one and one. Beautiful job, we're gonna walk in just a little bit. Shoulders are down and back, palms, facing one another, dropping down to a little squat position. May or may not touch the floor. We're gonna open up to a little T, spine, stretch, come back to center and open to that other side, coming up all the way to the top. Let's try that again. So it's a little squat, keep that spine long, opening up to that right. Your neck and head are following the line of the spine and return, there it is. Back in that seat, not important that we touch the floor here, right? More important that we're keeping that neutral position through the back. So you might be here. Good, good, good. How are we doing, guys? Let's go. Starting to work, continuing to get warmed up and progressing through. Gaze into that right. Gaze into that left. Squeeze the glutes and rise. You got one more here. Take it to the side. Open up and rise to the top. We're gonna to turn to one side here. Front leg, right leg forward, bending into a lunge position. Left hand is gonna frame the inside of that right foot. Taking that right arm up, I want you to rotate over. Now, we're gonna open up that right knee, let it open to the side as your right elbow comes into that left wrist. And then we open again. And a little rotation. So thinking here of opening through that right inner thigh, stretching through that mid upper back. One more here. And hold, framing the foot with the other hand, stepping the opposite leg forward. Taking that left arm up and over, making a nice long line with those arms. Taking that left arm, let the left knee open out to the side, feel the inner thigh stretch as you rotate. And then square the hip back off, that left foot comes down to the floor again. And then opening and breathing. We are moving, stretching up to that T-stretch. Opening up that left leg, feel that inner thigh stretch. And square the hips back off. How are we feeling? Good, good, good. One more to the finish. Now we're gonna meet here in a full plank position. So stacking your palms under the shoulders, holding that long line of plank. You're gonna squat on the wall behind you, come back to plank. We're gonna squat and walk all the way in, stretch those arms up. Let's take it down again. We walk it out. One, two, three, and four. Bend, extend to plank, bend and walk in. All the way up, that's it. Let's go, coming down, full body move right here. Bending the knees, firing through the glutes, bending and walking in, rising up to that top. How are we feeling, guys? Pushing strong, let's go. Little bend, come out to plank, bend and walk in, and we stretch up. We're gonna go through that one more time. Getting warmed, getting ready, powering through, full long line, bend and walk it in, stretch it up. Now. We're going for a medium to heavy load here. All right, squat with a push and a press. What does that look like? Holding the load here, shoulder height. Drop down to that squat position. Fire the glutes. One push, 
one press and we do it again. Squat, shoulder press, one push. Chest, shoulders back. Fire through the legs to come out of that squat. Yes, one push, one press. Oh yeah, drop, rise. How we feeling guys? You are strong. You want a challenging load, but one where you can maintain that form, yes? Beautiful. One more here. Push it up and press it out and bring it to the side. Shoulders down and back, squaring off those hips. Right leg is stepping back. Three pulse lunge. Come with me here. Everything is squared. You're gonna drop down, fire through that front leg. One, two, three, we switch. Left leg goes back. 90, 90 with the legs. Bring it in. One, two, there it is. Three, drive it up. Beautiful. And return, let's go. Getting our legs to work and turn on. Fire right back up. Think of that front leg engaging to lift you back to that start, yes? Heavy load here, challenging that lower body. Large muscle groups turning on. Let's go. And shake that out. Okay, we're going medium to heavy load. One mid back row, one reverse fly. Hip hinge forward. We're gonna bend the knees and hinge. Any low back sensitivity, stagger that stance with one leg back. One mid back row, one fly, yeah? Fire through the back, open that up. Squeezing through the back muscles, upper back, rear deltoids. Fire back and open, there it is. Good, good. Find that strength and go with it. You are strong, let's go. Press. Think of the post here, the back muscles here, firing to pull. <sighs> Continuing to breathe right on through. Yes, to the finish. Let's go. Last one and shake that out. All right, we're going lateral lunge, row to a tricep kick. What does that look like? Starting in parallel. Right leg steps out, row, tricep kick, return, fire off. Yes, so the outside leg bends, chin is off chest, spine stays long, we come back. Let's go, light to medium load. Where you can maintain the control of that dumbbell and keep your form in a nice solid position, right? You got that. Good, good. Bring it in. Way to work, everybody. Listen, each day, super important to make sure we're getting in this movement. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, right? Focus, 20 minutes. Really taking that time for you is key. One more here, let's do it. Good. Bring it up and return. All right, we're going into lateral raises, okay? Right out to the side. Light to medium load. Working through that medial deltoid. Are we ready? Parallel position of the legs, soft bend to that knee. <sighs> Lifting up on the exhale and lower that down. All right, take your time here. Keep your control. Keep your form. You can always go to alternating, right? If you need that option. Challenge yourself where you can. Does this load feel too heavy, right? Can you increase it? Maybe next time. Right to the finish, you have it. Let's go. Find that strength within you and push. Creating that change and rest. Nice job. We're going to bicep curls. 
Give me a little heavier load right here. Palms are facing up, shoulders off those ears. Curling up for two, lowering down, watch our change. And then we're gonna rotate that curl out to the side. Let's try that here. Curl up for two, return with control, curl out to the side and return. We have a bicep curl, palms face up. Resist that way down. Curl it here and lower. Let's go, let's go. Little bicep. Resist. Out to the side. Return it. Keep that control. You are strong. Nice work, everybody. Good, good, good. Maybe cold weather now, right? We're not thinking about wearing those tank tops, but let's get ahead of the game. One more here, you have it. Good. Bring it back and return. We're going right down to that floor, okay? We're coming into a narrow press, which is here. <sighs> Adding a bridge to that. So I want you to focus on your feet to that floor. All four corners. Draw the navel to spine on the exhale. Squeeze the buttocks. Press up, narrow position, lower down. <sighs> Pressing up and returning. <sighs> nice fluid movements. Draw that waistline in. We have a little bit of chest, shoulders. Some triceps going on with this narrow position. We're feeling those arms. We're feeling that body work. Focus on that strength, let's go. To the end. And one more. And bring that down, nice job. Take that one heavy dumbbell only. Legs are going to be bent position. We're gonna hold that load up above the chest. Reaching the arms and legs out, navel to spine. On the exhale, lift up the flexion, look toward the belly and come up. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, lifting up to that curl. Keeping that breath. Four more here. Four to the finish. Three. Take your time. Two. Inner thighs are connecting. Here's your last one and one. Straighten those arms up, hold the legs here. Chin is off that chest. We're gonna curl up for one. Right leg drops, right leg lifts and lower. Again, lifting up to flexion. Left leg drops, lifts up, return. Let's go, we're gonna go curl. Lower down, lift up, return. Come to flexion, lift, lower that leg. When you lower that leg, draw the belly in deeper. Right, so we have four. That long leg stretches to the ceiling as the other leg goes down. Two more to that finish. Lift it up, drop, lift. You have one more, rise it up, drop, lift and come down. Keeping the weights close to you, tabletop leg position. Elbows are wide, rising up into flexion. Keep the elbows wide. Left knee comes in, right leg extends, lift an inch higher. Now from here, slowly twist so the armpit comes toward the knee. Giving you a little Pilates principles. Keep this slow, you're gonna feel it more. See this knee, press it out a little bit. All oh, the belly's turning on even more right there. Now you're gonna switch, stop the leg as if there's a wall at that hip bone and twist to the other side. The long leg is activated, navel draws in and switch. So we have Eight, slow, and seven. Notice when we go slow, you're really gonna feel that burn because we're not using momentum, right? We're using muscle. Four more here. Four, you have it. Three, two more here, uh-oh. Here's your last one. Now you're gonna hold the right knee in. You're gonna reach to that toe. You're gonna bend the knee and switch. So we lengthen bend and twist, lengthen, bend and twist. Burning, I know, bend and twist. Four more, twist, three, twist, two, 
twist, last one, and rest. Way to work. Grabbing your lighter dumbbell. I got five pounds. Three, four, five. See what works? Keep in control. Shoulder, elbow are aligned, okay? Take that arm up. Maybe you're gonna do this without a dumbbell. That's okay. Rise up the waist for one, like a vacuum scooping that floor. Lower to parallel, lift up, and come down. Okay, so we're taking everything out of the neck. Think of that waist, that side body. Come down. I want you to lift. You're scooping up that floor. Come down. Lift and return. Now, stay up here. Are you ready for this next one? Just your arm, and you're going to add a little side leg lift. <sighs> Keeping that knee bent. Six more here. Six. Lifting up on that lower waist. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And we switch. Burner for that waist. All right, got, get ready on the other side. Hold that arm up. Shoulders off the ear. Engaging through that lower waist. Drop the load. Lift the load and dip. Lift. We lower with control. Upper back, rear delt. Drop and lift. Four more. All right, you're feeling that weighted arm. Challenging that core with the lever change of that arm moving. Two more. Here's your last one. Now, I want you to hold this one up. You're gonna pause just the arm and then add that leg option. Lift it up, lower down. Seven, outer thigh engaging. Six, arms to a T. Five, looking good. Four more. Three, burning. Two, how do we do? One, and we rest. Finishing here in a forearm plank position. Shoulders off those ears, making two fists, elbows under the shoulders. Starting on the knees, scoop the belly in first, and then lift off those knees. Holding, right knee taps to a hover, left knee, and right, and left. Stay long, six, five, four, Three, abdominals should be burning. Arms are feeling this. Both knees together or just hold, lift up. Hover the knees, lift up. When you let those knees lower, the low back cannot change position. Four more. Three, two. Everybody hold on one, it's a long strong plank. Four, eight, four, seven, six. Keep scooping the abdominals in. Four more, three. Two, and little shell stretch back. And coming up to all fours, palms are under the shoulders. Take a nice big breath as we inhale. Using the exhale, coming into flexion, rounding through the spine. Gently letting that release as we gaze out in front of us. And one last time, using that breath as we lift, holding here. This time we're gonna move from the upper body, moving from the top of the head, the upper back, the middle, the tailbone hits that back wall, and then we draw the abdominals in, holding that strong tabletop. And my friends, if you have a little bit more time, skip the warm up and go ahead, start with your teapot spine squat openers and do this workout one or maybe two more times to feel a real big burn. You guys are amazing. Happy, happy new year. Be sure to like this video if you did in fact enjoy it. If you're looking for longer workouts like this format with much more, I encourage you to join our Fit Club, guys. So many exciting workouts on demand, live workouts. Check it out below, I'll give you the link. Have a beautiful day, keep working hard, and I will see you all next workout. Take care, everybody, bye.